right? Uh, so I decided I wanted to, you know, do this again where I'm reacting to an episode of Sonic Set AM. So uh, we'll be doing the second episode this time. Uh, so yeah, really excited for all that. Um, honestly, I, I have nothing to say. Let's just jump into the episode. Okay, should begin any moment. Oh, there we go. I know I I kind of fucked up talking about this intro um, yesterday, but like, so I, I'll try to be a little more specific this time. Like, just like this tells you so much about the show. Like, outside like the song, just visually, like you have Sonic and his friends having fun in the nice city. Then Robotnik comes in, flies over, and it's all you know roboticized, right? And you see them like fighting together and stuff like that. You know, big adventure. Going in and like sabotaging stuff. Oh, using the power ring as like a like a power up. Yeah, again, like it, it sets up like the basis of the show so well. Yeah, that was a that was a lot better explained uh, <laughs> than I did yesterday. I, and the intro is over. So this is the second episode, I'm still following the Sonic wiki, uh, about which, like, the episode order. God, and I know I talked a lot about it, uh, yesterday too, but, like, these backgrounds are so good. <laughs> oh, don't you just love all this fresh air? Yeah, about as much as I love Robotnik. And I sure do love Robotnik. Oh, oh I mean, uh... Arming, Sally. Canisters armed. You're all loaded, Sugar Hog. Cool. Synchronize the old watches. Okay, meet you at the usual. If anybody's late, jam back to not hold. Check, check. check. Good luck, y'all. Let's, Let's do, do it, do it. Let's do it, do it. A weird ass handshake, but okay. Must have forgot the welcome mat. Find another way in. Wait, hold. <laughs> kind of, kind of stupid of them to like see something fall right in front of them and then run off. Oh nah, we're about to get hedgehog stew. You know, I once heard a theory that these SWAT bots, uh, you know, these guys, uh, like in the same way Robotnik roboticizes like the animals into like animal looking servants, that the SWAT bots are like humans that have been roboticized. I I think there's like something, I, I think the creators like said something that contradicts that, but I don't know, still like kind of a freaky theory. I mean, there are no humans around outside of Robotnik and Snively, so. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, this is an episode I actually like distinctly remember watching. Uh, Yo, well, like you could use a at least I, I'm pretty sure. I, I think this is the episode. Nah, I'm not gonna say anything. I, I, I'm just pretty sure I know which episode this is. Again, I, I did not uh, like go through this episode before I put it on. I just checked that it was like the right episode, you know, Sonic and Sally. That was the episode's title. I I gotta say, like, I love how lively this this animation is. There's, like, there's so much like action and life to it, you know. Yeah, this is the episode where 
where Robotnik makes like a fake Sally to send in. Like infiltrate knot hole. So to speak. Hey, did you guys nail a swamp bot factory? Well, honey, I don't know. I had to make a very unladylike retreat. Thanks, sugar. Oh. Antoine, you're so oh, fucking I'm useless. Stars. I'm just falling apart. Where's Sonic and Sally? Well, the last time I saw, they were. Cannonball! It was seismic. Talk about fireworks, right, Bunny? Where's Sal? She wasn't at the meeting place, so I came on back. I gotta go back. Sonic, wait. You need a power ring. I know the hedgehog will come for you, dear girl. And when he does, I have a surprise. Just Jim Cummings' She's voice is so damn good. Excellent, Snibley. Install it. I admit there are some plot holes here, like... They have, like, a memory extractor, but if they could extract Sally's memories, you'd think he'd just... You know, use it to find out where Knothole is and then just bomb it off the face of the earth, but, you know. When you get a life. <gasps> or maybe, maybe they just say memory extractor, but it's more like a... Maybe it's more like an AI copying a personality based on audio recordings or stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. Again, they said memory extractor, so like, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, the power rings come out of the water in, in, in this show. It's kind of strange, but I don't know. Also, in comparison to last episode, uh, this one helps like show off a few more of like the, the rest of the characters uh, in the show. Like, last episode was mostly just, you know, Sonic, Sally, and Antoine. I mean, not that Bonnie, Rota, and Tails gets to do anything, or like, a lot, which is sadly kind of a thing that happens a lot in the show, but... I, again, I'm not saying this is the perfect show or anything, I'm just, you know... This is kind of like, this is where like Robotnik is at his best, like really pragmatic. Like, of course he needs it to, he needs Sonic to not be suspicious about like him getting in too easy. And at the same time, if he somehow succeeded in killing Sonic like this, then, you know, it's still a victory, right? It's a, uh, it's like a Sanatos Gambit, right? Where like, you know, no matter what happens, he, he wins in a sense. Okay, well, now he kind of perceived it, so, yeah. Ah, well. Huh. Must be my lucky day. Stuff like that, I just chalk up to, you know, it's a cartoon. You know, it's meant to be a little silly. You can have, you know, both serious stuff and also a bit of silliness. Is it a little dumb? Maybe, but, you know. I 
kind of feel like maybe I'm not saying quite as much, but I think that's just because I'm enjoying this episode even more than yesterday's episode. You okay? Fine. Coming back to rescue me was very brave, Sonic. Hey, no biggie. It's in the hero's job description. Um, the video is gone, sir. Well, that was lucky, I suppose. Are, Home, sweet the communication system works. We can still monitor his every move. Sonic? Might have been smart to put a GPS track on that robot, but you know. The funny kiss. Ah. Uh. Oh, the funny kiss. Of course. Uh -uh, not that one. The funny kiss. Uh, 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 mm. On my nose. Oh. 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 That's. Funny kiss. Yeah. <laughs> this was written in an innocent, innocent time. Tails, it's story time. Stories really need oh, Sally. Once upon a time, there was a giant, and he was a. Nuh uh. Remember last night? We started that one. You know, about the princess and the mean witch. There's where we left off. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay. The evil witch said, So my pretty, you can't escape. No, no, that's not the. Gotta witch. give Cat Susie credit. Like, she, she's kind of selling this, like, Bad acting, like bad narrating, which is, you know, funny when she's like a legit great voice actress. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. So then, my doggone arm just fell off. I was so humiliated, I just about popped a bolt. Bad news. I just heard the SWATBOT factory is still online. Sal, what happened? Heard from who? Uh, the bots caught me before I could detonate. Then we gotta go back. We meet in the morning and plan it out. This time we left the sucker. Perfect. <laughs> ah, yes, not suspicious in the slightest. Yes, well, then it's a great thing you're not gonna go tell someone, huh, Tails? Sally, wake up, sugar! <gasps> Bunny, what's wrong? What in the heck happened? I don't know. This is terrible. Yo, big guy, what's up? Sonic, I gotta tell you something. It's a secret. Later, Sal. Man talk. Okay, bud, make it quick. We got a SWAT bot factory to bake. That's not Sally. What? She didn't give me the funny kiss, didn't know what story to read, didn't even do the scary witch voice. Tails, Sal had a seriously hard time yesterday. She's dressing. No, -uh. I saw a light shining from her eyes. Then she went outside and talked to herself, and her eyes turned all red and yucky. Hey, little bud, you must have had one monster dream. 
We'll talk about it later, okay? I got it. Well. Juice. See, this is the kind of thing, right? Like, Sonic's not like a perfect, you know, flawless hero or anything. He does have some like moments of 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 not being super smart, kind of like me, actually. <laughs> um, but you know, I I I enjoy this kind of thing. You know, I like for there to be some flaws. I mean, who, who wants to watch a character with no flaws, when nothing ever goes right, wrong? Sal. That's boring. <laughs> that was just funny. Yo, Sal, what you put in the old cereal this morning? Well, that's our third close one tonight. Come on, we gotta move it. See, I like this too, like, maybe Sonic's starting to realize that something's... Not entirely right. Whoa. Like he did, like like he dismissed tales, like but like I get this thing feeling like he's still like, you know, considering it. Even the way he just looks back there, like like he doesn't want the uh, the potential fake Sally to uh, to realize anything. See again, like he's not—he's not too dumb, like 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 so dumb that you don't want to watch him. But he's not so perfect that, like every situation is just immediately solved. Damn, she's she shat out of her wrist. <laughs> she shat out of her wrist. Oh nah. So, uh... Oh. Boy, Robotnik is good. She fooled everybody. Except Tails. But if that's not Sally, where the heck is she? I don't know, but I bet this robot can tell us. Also, like, I like that, that's, that's another thing, like, like, Robotnik actually did intend to just uh, roboticize Sally while they were using the, the faker, but, you know, like, I guess the system overloaded or whatever, so that's why they couldn't do it, so it's not just Robotnik not wanting to do it or not remembering to do it. For iron lifts. I know that's still kind of like a bit of a cop out, like, oh, look, he was gonna do the thing that would have let him win, but uh, then something randomly happened. Like, again, like, it's like I'm saying, like, this show is not perfect, but it's just still really good. Like, this is what I mean, like, right here. That's really convenient, but, you know. Part of me thought he was about to, like, uh, just pick up the fake Sally and just, like, smash it open with her body. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. A rock. God, and that music you hear in the background, the uh, Robotnik theme, it's so good. Like, try, like, uh, if anyone's interested, like, try looking up, like, Robotnik theme by Michael Tavera. It's, it's so good. Doing, 
Sal. Fine. Thanks to you. So what's gonna happen if you roboticize a robot? Let's cruise. I don't like the company here. This is for sure like one of the episodes that I like remember watching for sure. Doesn't seem that roboticized to me, but you know. Thanks for saving my life tonight, Bunny. Sometimes a metal body comes in handy, but I still have something a robot will never have a mind and a heart of my own. Hi, Tails. It's really me. Honest. <sighs> Come here, you. You know what I'm kind of surprised about? Sally. We've gone through this entire episode with a fake Sally, and I haven't made a single imposter Amogus joke. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that. I'm still not sure that's the real Sal. Oh, really? Then I guess I'll have to prove it. But let's just finish it off with it. Yes, Sally was very sus this episode. Well, she's a fake. Come on, Tails. We got a juice. Oh, I'll show you fake Sonic Hedgehog. Sonic Hedgehog? It sounds so weird when you say it without the... the... Anyway, honestly, even better than the first episode, honestly. Um, yeah. Like, in my opinion, I think this is a much better, like, introductory episode to, to the show as a whole. Uh, again, like, it shows off a few more of the characters, and, like, they, like, they're more relevant to the plot as well. And there was a lot less Antoine, so that's... <laughs> no, no, honestly, Antoine's not so bad. Not, not in the first season, at least. Um, and again, yeah, it, it, it does show off a lot more of the, uh, the funner aspects of, of this, uh, this show. And I'm having a lot of fun doing uh, reactions to this show, so honestly, I might keep going. <laughs> on it. We'll we'll have to see how people feel about like uh, this for the first reaction that came out. Um... Oh god, I need to remember because like I'm recording this like before the first one's even out. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see how people react to that first episode and, and to this episode, but we'll see. Uh, but uh, until next time, bye bye.